So this is a guessing game. In this box you have to put in the age um, and we have a little drop down box here. So you keep guessing until it's correct. And in this one, oh, to get to the drop down box you can either double click or you can click on the little arrow. Um, and oh, look what happens when you get one right. It says correct and it changes colour. And down here it says you have one correct. Um, now in this one, I'm going to put the favourite colour. Oops. Try again. Blue, correct. And then look, overall result is you win. Now, uh, if I get them both wrong, it says... Um, neither are correct. If one's right, doesn't matter which one's right, it will say one is correct. And if they're both right, it says, as you saw before, you win. Okay, so how do we do it? Okay, obviously first thing is to set up all the boxes and the colours and everything like that. Next thing is to put in here a formula. And here's the formula here. I can double click and show you the formula. Oops. Let's have a look. Okay, so equals starts off the formula. If is the function. Open brackets. This part is the, the test. B3 equals 15. This is B3. And does it equal 15 is the, the test. We put in a comma. Whatever comes after the comma will be the result if it's true. And in this case, I want the result to be correct with in quotation marks because it's text. Uh, another comma. Anything after this comma will be false. So if this is not true, or if this test is not true, sorry, then what's the result? So this is the result if it's not true. And in this case, keep trying as a text in, in inverted commas. And then close bracket to end the formula. Now, same sort of thing with this one, almost exactly the same this time, instead it's B6 equals blue is the test. This time we're putting blue in inverted commas. In the previous one, which I'll show you, we didn't need inverted commas because it was a number. But when you're looking at text, you need it to have inverted commas. So B6 equals blue with inverted commas. So that is the test. So the the result if it's true is correct. The result if it's false is keep trying. And that can be anything you want it to be, but for the sake of this game that's what the results are going to be. This is a bit trickier. Whew. Yep, okay. So this has got two big parts to it. It's got an if and um, formula and a second if and formula inside it. Okay, let's go through it. Okay, so if bracket and bracket. What that means is there's going to be two or more logical tests or tests and they both have to be correct or they both have to be true and uh, incidentally if you want just one of them to be correct if either of them can be correct you can be if that can say if or but we're not doing that for this example so let's keep it simple if and and here are our two tests c3 equals correct which is now c3 obviously is this one the cell here and C6 is correct, equals correct, quote unquote. Uh, and this is C6. Close bracket. So there are two tests, or logical tests. After that is a, the comma, just like with the normal if formula. 
um, after the comma, whatever comes after it, whoops, whatever comes after it is the result if it's true, if both of those say correct. The result is you win. The result if it's not true comes after the comma. So if C3 and C6 don't both say the words correct in quotation marks, then we need to do whatever comes after this comma. And in this particular case, we're going to do an, another whole function inside this function. So this whole thing here is the result of what to do if both of these are not true, or both of these don't say the word correct. So, another if and. If and, and then here's our new logical test, or two sets of tests. If C3 equals keep trying, and C3 equals, and sorry, and C6 equals keep trying, uh, with the exclamation mark and the quotation marks, which is what it would say if they were wrong, then, if that's true, you put this response, neither are correct. But if that's not true, and obviously that one's not true, then the only possible result after this comma is you have one correct. That's the only possible result. And then a couple of brackets to tidy out, tidy up the formula. So, hope that makes sense. Watch the video through a few more times if it doesn't. This one's a bit tricky, a bit more complicated. Have a go, see how you go. Don't just copy it out and ignore how it works. Try and make sure you understand how it works. Okay, so that's that part. Um, in part two of this, we will look at setting up the colors and the drop-down box and all that sort of thing. Okay.